Espera. Uh, uh, uh. I think we're live, guys. Yo, what up, guys? <laughs> hello, hello. It's been so long since I've streamed. I was under a lot of stress at work and everything's fine now so I can get back to drawing. Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Yeah, yeah, we're going party today. I'm so excited to be back to streaming. It's been so long, so long. Can finally get back to my regular schedule. Wow, you guys are so quick. <laughs> of course, I remember all of you guys. I remember your names. Especially you, Asriel. Asriel, you've been in here in like the live stream since the very, very beginning. But anyways, today we're going to be drawing, or I already drew the picture, so we have a little cat here, we have a bird, and we're going to have some floral. So the theme for today is spring. Um, it's going to be a spring watercolor. I dreamt of this kind of illustration while I was working today, and I was like, oh, like I'd love to try it. Um, in watercolor, go back to my watercolor roots. So we're going to be using water brushes. I've got these brushes here. The brand um, is listed below in the video description. And then I have my paints here, which is like uh, uh, Schmincke and then like um, Windsor and Newton. So it's a combination of different types of brands. But I primarily use Schmincke, which is a really great brand. <laughs> I was just about to ask Patrick if you're going to stream. Yeah, I, I'm hoping to be streaming today. Well, obviously I'm already streaming, but tomorrow and then Sunday as well. So hopefully the next two days I'll be streaming like the entire weekend. So I'm pretty excited. We're going to get started now. You guys can ask me questions. We can have a discussion on this Friday. This Friday evening. I'm just going to, I forgot to clean my brush. Just give me a second. I typically clean my water brushes with a uh, paper towel. So you can see there's a little bit of, of paint still on it. I was testing out the colors before I started the stream. Oh no, one sec. Is my audio weird? Let me fix my microphone. Now it's in my face, is it too loud? Nah. Let me know if my audio is okay, okay? Because I can't hear myself. Um, but the audio should be fine. Like, it's in my face right now. If it's too loud, let me know. I'll push it back a little bit. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be doing primarily watercolor. We're going to start with a cat, I think. Uh, it's going to be a bit... It's going to be a lot, actually. <laughs> That's why I'm using watercolor. So it's, we're going to save some time. It's going to make it look pretty. No! Okay, wait. Let me adjust this. Is it better now? Eh. Gosh, I don't know what's wrong with the mic. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Okay, let's get started. So, we're going to start off with the kitty bear. Welcome, welcome to those who are joining start off with a cat get my water brushes ready okay so what colors am I going to use I'm going to be using a combination of so the cat himself he's going to be like gray and um, he's like a stereotypical tabby so he's going to have like dark brown stripes on him and then he's going to have a little bit of gray in between. The bird, he's going to be blue and a bit of kind of uh, orangey and then we're going to use pink flowers and we're going to have like a spring green background. Um, so that is the plan. I'm going to get started with the cat itself. So uh, let's get... I think we're going to start off with the like the lightest shades first and then we're going to make a way to the darker shades so we're just going to apply the first layer i'm just going to kind of erase a little bit of the lines here especially around the mouth do you have a reference photo i actually have many reference photos i have one for the cat and i also have one um for the bird and then the rest is just kind of random 
uh, I don't know. I just kind of drew it randomly. There's two reference photos. So we're going to start off with kind of the shadowy part of his fur. Please let me know if my voice is like weird, like the audio is not working. If it's too quiet, I'll try to find a way to move the microphone. But I think it's okay. Yeah! Are these Schmincke watercolors? Yes, yes they are. Um, it's a mixture actually. Like the little ones that you see, they are Schmincke. And then the lar larger ones here, they are Windsor and Newton. So I've got a combination of a couple different ones. But I prefer the Schmincke ones. I, I'm really in love with Schmincke. It's one of the best watercolor brands that I've ever used. And I'm quite fond of of the um, like the results, how they work, and they're very high quality. Hi, Nafal. <laughs> Yeah, guys, it's been so long. I've missed you guys so much. If you guys want like, to know why I was away, I, I kind of took a break from YouTube and from drawing in general, although I was drawing in my spare time. I really needed a break. I was really stressed out at work and I was getting so stressed to try to you know, always draw, um, do my YouTube channel and then do work at the same time was making me very um, kind of feeling sick because I had a lot of pressure at work to do deadlines and stuff like that. Um, and I had to kind of take off a little bit and do nothing and just play video games. So I was playing Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> I was just playing Elder Scrolls Online the whole time and reading books and whatnot and sleeping for the most time. And I'm feeling better now and I have more energy to start painting again. So thank you guys so much for like having your patience and whatnot. I'll be working on a lot more videos. And of course, live streams. So um, actually, I don't think I posted the watercolor or the paper that I'm using in the description. This is not watercolor paper. It is mixed media paper. And I actually prefer it for some reason. I don't really know, which isn't much better. Oh my, it's so pretty already. Thank you, Lauren. You can't hear my voice clearly. Oh Lord. Arthur draws. Not Arthur. All right. Let's see if I bring the mic up. <sighs> see, the thing is, I, I did get a new setup. Um, you guys know that I moved like my location, yeah. my, my apartment. And uh, my setup is completely screwed. I haven't been able to live stream really since I changed my settings. Let me know if this is better, if you guys can hear me. I literally have the mic in my face right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So I don't really know what the settings are good. Like when I'm recording, the settings are fine, but apparently not for the live stream. Don't really know. This is too much of a vibrant color. It's way better. Sweet. Now I feel like I'm yelling in your ears. <laughs> but if it sounds better, then we're just going to keep it like that. So right now I'm setting the initial color down first. So we're, we're using right now a kind of a light gray. Although the cat is a little bit of like a brownish um, color. I think it's okay. We're just going to make it a little bit gray. I really like the gray. I love gray cats. I don't know about you guys. Gray is my favorite. You guys can make the sub bunny dance, don't worry. I should probably zoom in. Wait one sec. Make the sub bunny dance. Alright. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I'm working on the face right now. So let's get into the nitty gritty details of it. Nearly 20k subs. Yeah. Oh, wrong. Woo! Wrong webcam. <laughs> Ignore that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now I'm too far. Oh, Damn, one sec. I zoomed into the wrong webcam. All right, let's get the other webcam. Ah! This cat looks a little bit funny. 
It's like a potato cat. Potato. Trying to get. Alright, alright, let's progress. So let's set the basis of the. Um, I'm gonna use a bigger brush now. We're gonna set the basis of the gray color onto the rest of the body. And while we wait for this to dry, we're going to proceed with the face. So the face right now is drying. See, this is the thing about you know working with watercolors in a live stream. You have to kind of wait for things to dry. And that's where that's why I prefer working with markers or pencil crayon in a live stream. It's just much quicker. And you guys can see like the progression happened much quicker than watercolor although watercolor is quite beautiful <laughs> is it gray or gray i feel super right now i think um i think it depends like i think we spell it with an a if i'm not mistaken i forget the canadian way of spelling things it's different it's a different way than like english like oxford english <laughs> Actually, I can't remember how we spell it. I think I've always spelled it with an with an A, if I'm not mistaken. Oh gosh. Little kitty bear, so let's get my favorite castells out. My favorite. I love Faber Castell. It is the best. Thank you, Wessel. Oh, wait, let me pronounce your full name. Wessel Van de Kulwick. Dang. Wessel Van. I'm just not gonna go there. I like your name though. That's a pretty cool name. Pretty nice. I want to make the eyeballs. Let's start the eyes. So while we wait for the watercolor to draw to dry. Um, before I progress with the actual like details of the fur, we're gonna start with the f like kind of the face facial um, features, so like the eyes and the nose, whatnot. We're gonna get, we're gonna start doing that. I've got all kinds of stuff in my face. I've got the webcam in my face and I've got the mic, so this is a little bit hard to to work properly. <laughs> do you remember me from live streams? Yes, I do. I do remember you guys. It's been a while, but I do remember. Thank you, Abby Vlogs. Thanks for your support. Okay, I'm gonna have to like reach over a little bit here. <laughs> guys, don't stop asking me if I remember you guys. I do. I do remember. We had such cool times in the past live streams. Good old times with all the, uh, all of my trials and tribulations. You guys have seen me struggle with whiskers, <laughs> drawing potato pugs, you know. <laughs> I really hope this cat doesn't look like a potato. Ugh. Insane crazy, thank you. The awkward wolf whisker. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was such a great day. That was a fun, that was a really fun live stream. I had so much fun doing that. <laughs> you guys were like cheering me on. That was the most intense moment of my life when I had to draw the whisker. Oh my god, guys. Like. <laughs> Whiskers are the enemy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You know what? You know what? Also, is the enemy is eyes. I, I'm really. I, I have. I struggle with eyeballs, with eyeballs in general. Like I just can't. Especially cat eyes. That's why I always draw. Try to draw at least some cat eyes, because I know. It takes some work to get, to get it right. 
cat eyes are really really hard for me okay so let's add a bit of color to the nose I'm kind of cheating here we're gonna fill in the nose with a bit of like a light gray color then we're gonna get I kind of put a lot of water on though na, 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 na. Sneeze, sneeze, sneeze. Oh no, you're sick. I also have like, well, okay, I'm not sick. I just have allergies. So allergy season is starting and I've been already feeling the dramatic symptoms for like a few weeks now. I don't know. Here in Berlin, it's pretty, pretty warm. <laughs> Dakota Gull, thank you. So we're going to extend this outwards. Oh, Lord. Okay. I think it's pretty much, like, I would say dry. We can proceed with a second layer of watercolor. So I'm going to do, so we did the basis of, like, the gray. So this is kind of like the undertone, like the shadow of where the white will be, the white fur. And then we're going to be adding um, a little bit of a darker brown into, like, the patterns of his fur. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to only add two layers of watercolor. Because, again, this is not watercolor paper. It is mixed media paper. So I cannot layer too much water on it or else it's just going to, the paper is just not meant for that. Um, so we're going to do two layers of watercolor and then I'm going to go on top to kind of blend the watercolor together with pencil crayon um, to make like the details of the fur and whatnot. So that's kind of like how I progress most of the times uh, with that stuff. I should maybe probably draw the eyes first. Oh well. I'm kind of all over the place right now. It's my first live stream in like <laughs> a month or two and I'm just kind of like what do I do? It's been a while. Bunny, is it normal to cough for six weeks? Nope, it's not normal. I Although I do cough all the time because I do have asthma. And I, I just need to like cough to, I don't know, it's like an asthma thing. Um, but if you're coughing for six weeks straight, you should definitely check out a doctor. Go see what's happening. That's not normal. It's definitely not normal. Oh, it is April Fool's tomorrow. It's April 1st. Oh. oh, April. I really like April because it's uh, it, it gives me gives me Easter. I love Easter. As you guys can probably imagine, I'm a huge bunny rabbit fan. So Easter is always the best time of year for me. Easter. Do you have a cat yourself? No, I do not. I'm allergic to cats. That's why I was never really able to bond with a cat. So I, I, I don't know how to hold them. I don't know how to interact with them. I'm very, very awkward with cats because I've always been like allergic and my body has always been like, stay away, ignore the cat, don't touch it. Um, I'm, I'm really bad with cats. Unfortunately, I think that they are cute, but I, I literally will die if I'm close to a cat. <laughs> I'm a cat. I'm a cat. Right now, I'm actually drawing a, a kitten, so it's not an actual cat. Little baby cat. Little kitten. That's why he has funny proportions. Like, he's kind of... He's got a smaller head, really wide eyes, and uh, yeah, he's going to look a bit, he's a baby, he's a kitten. Okay, so we're going to, what I'm doing right now is kind of blending the brown par parts with a little bit of the gray, because there is kind of brownish undertones to his fur. We want to capture that as much as we can before we progress with the pencil crayon. Um, so we're just going to kind of make it look like a muddy mess right now. And then afterwards, when we add the pencil crayon on top, it's going to be like, dang, like you're going to have such nice undertone of watercolor. Um, oh, 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 that's really strong here. Yeah. Bye, Wessel. <laughs> 
Da, 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 da. <coughs> Sorry guys, you don't want to cough in your in the mic. Okay, let's finish the little eyeballs here. We're gonna wait till it dries a little bit. Are you guys talking about bucket lists? Whoa! I have a couple things I want to do before I die. My bucket list. I've already kind of achieved a lot of the things that I've been wanting to do, which is really cool if you think about it. Um, but of course, there's a lot more things I want to do. For example, I want to at least reach 20,000 subscribers, <laughs> which I hope that it will be quite soon. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to kind of squeeze in here a little bit. Oh gosh, kitty eyes. Kitty eyes will be the Oh my gosh, I can't I can't draw cat eyes. Oh. Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> what are you going to draw for me? <laughs> um I've been wanting to draw a video game character for a while now. I don't know, like, I was wanting to go, like, okay, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Elder Scrolls Online, and just, like, Elder Scrolls in general, Skyrim, whatnot, Morrowind, and, like, I kind of want to draw some of the characters from the, from the game. I don't know which one to choose. There's so many. There's just so many. Thank you, Lucas. Tell us some good stories, by the way. <laughs> this drawing was fabulous. Thank you, Samu. Good stories. Hmm. I, you uh, guys, I, I don't have any good stories currently. I had a pretty bad, like, rough patch myself. Um, and I, I don't really, I didn't really go anywhere. I mean, I, I came back from Iceland. I went to a trip, like, I went to Iceland at the end of February. And then I had a whole month of just super, super stress, like horrible stress, like not feeling well, stuff like that. So I've kind of had a boring life the past few months, or the past month, I should say. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't have good stories to tell you right now. Ooh! I have to empty my uh, sharpener. One sec, guys. <laughs> Buddy, as you're a gamer, I would recommend a game called Undertale. I've seen Undertale and I don't really want to play it. I don't know if it's like a game for myself. Like, I, I don't know. It doesn't look like something I would like. Undertale. Okay. This is dry. Let's proceed with the pencil crayon. <laughs> Did I be recruiting more mods? Uh, Arthur, I, well, yeah, I, I, I'll eventually have to recruit more mods, but I'm, I, I just, I'm not big enough for that yet. Like I, I don't have that many subscribers and I don't have that much activity in my live streams. Um, yet maybe in the future it's going to happen but as of now like i i'm just kind of like starting back youtube again after a month of kind of not doing anything uh so i, I don't know how quick i could i don't know don't really need don't really need a mod right now bye savannah thanks for joining Woo! 
I'm really happy. I can't wait to for this drawing to be done. It's gonna look so cute. I hope so at least. I hope I don't kind of screw it up. It's just it's been a very long time since I've done something this big and actually drew an animal. I've been really, really working hard on drawing humans, for example. Practicing my human stuff and um, I'm been kind of neglecting the whole animal thing. So this is kind of my first cat in a very, very long time. Kind of nervous it's not gonna turn out as well as it could. <laughs> oh no, my stream is lagging. I thought it'd be good for the legs. <laughs> it looked like it was running fine. Leggy, leggy. I can never escape the legs. The legs. Legs and I go way back. Always lagging. Always. YouTube and the legs. Okay. down a little bit <sighs> thumbnail time in a few seconds not yet it's not thumbnail time yet I need to progress a little bit more with the face before I change the thumbnail That's why you do Twitch. I don't have a following on Twitch. Otherwise, I would. Uh, let's put this down a bit. Hi, I'm from Bulgaria. Very nice. Welcome, welcome. I'm from Canada. Canada, but I live in Germany. I'm Canadian. Do you have Patrick have kids? No, <laughs> no kids. <laughs> I have a rabbit. That's that's enough. I don't want kids. I'm not a. Don't feel very motherly. I mean, I like I like to be around kids, and I like to kind of, yeah. I I don't mind kids. It's just like, I to have kids myself right now. Like, oh, it's not something I kind of want. It's not something that I picture. Which not. Yeah, I don't know. I have too many things that I want to do before I have kids. If I have kids. <laughs> Hi, Caro. Hello. How old am I? I'm 25. 25. I'm quite old. <laughs> Hi, Naromi. Welcome. Willkommen. You know what I hate? When you like, oh my hair, when you break a pencil and it's stuck in your pencil sharpener. Ah, I hate that so much. Ah. There you go. Yeah, Carol, thank you. I thought you were like 20. Yeah, I wish, honestly. 25 years ago like oh my gosh i moved to germany when i was 20 so it was a pretty big deal for me and i felt like such a grown-up but actually 20 is so young and i feel like it's so far away already it was like five years so boys and girls that are like under the age of 20 do um have fun don't take anything too seriously and yeah live your dreams guys because it goes by so fast so fast and then one day you're just like 25 and you're just like, what? Like, <laughs> what's going on? It goes by so fast. It's actually stressful if you think about it. Twenty-five is not old, yeah. 
oh, ich bin nicht die Einzige. Willkommen, meine liebe Deutsche, Deutscherin, Deutsch, Deutsch, deutsche Leute. Meine liebe deutsche Leute. Hallo. Okay, so let's let's put in the eyes a little bit here. I do want to color in the eyes. We're gonna start off with a green color. Um You guys are 13. You're 13! You're 13! Oh my gosh. You're so young. Do you have any tips for drawing anatomy anatomy? I can't even pronounce that word, guys. Anat anatomically correct people. Uh, Tips-wise, I, I do have a tip. I'm not a professional in terms of drawing people because I'm learning it myself right now. Um, something that I'm doing like in kind of like practice mode uh, without showing you guys on YouTube because I, I really want to get good at it before I start showing you guys how I can draw people. Um, basically, my number one tip is, of course, practice. And second is to use um, reference photos, go to museums, look at people um, in terms of like, not museums, I want to say more so like, for example, if you're drawing an animal, my what I like to do is I like to go to a museum and um, sit and look at the like the dead stuffed animals <laughs> at a like nature museum and I study the way that they're built. They're perfect studies, perfect studies. So do that, find a reference photo, find a model, find your friend, practice drawing, look at the way that the body is curved, look at the way that the, the posture is, the expression. It's a lot of observation at the very beginning before you can get really, really good at it. Um, and it takes, it takes a long time to master it. So don't stress yourself out. If you guys can't get it right the first time, don't worry about it. I don't get it right either. It's just a matter of practicing constantly. And then eventually you'll get used to it. Um, especially if you're young, you have so much time to, to practice and to learn and to get really, really good at it. And it's something actually I wish I, I could have listened to myself when I was young, like when I was like 14. And it, I always wanted to draw, but every time I would start to draw, I would get really kind of angry at myself. Because I was like, oh, I'm not good. Like, I'm not meant, like, I like doing it, but I'm really, I'm really bad at it. And I, that's because I just didn't know the techniques and I didn't know that everything came with practice. You're not born with it, guys. You guys got to work at it. So that's kind of like what I've been learning and I kind of regret it that I stopped drawing when I was a teenager. So if you guys are interested in drawing now and you're 14 or so, do it. Do it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't give up. I'm an art scholar in my school, which means I represent art for the school and I get to go to exhibitions and meet aspiring artists alike. That's super cool. That's really nice. See, that's where also, like, I think as artists, it's really important to go out and get yourself out there and meet other people who are kind of in the industry. I have a really hard time doing that myself because I'm really shy in person. And, um, like, over the web, it's fine. But meeting someone in person is very hard. Or to, like, learn how to approach people at an exhibition or something, I find that really, really difficult. Uh, so I, I struggle with that. But I know eventually that's something that I have to take up and I have to do if I want to kind of proceed progress with my sort of art career exactly everyone is born with talent but you have to work for skill exactly i think there's a fine line between ta talent and skill like talent itself um people can be talented of course people can be like geniuses there's some people out there that don't really have to work as hard as others um but it at, you know at the end of the day guys it all comes to preservation, uh, dedication, motivation, and how bad you really want it. And if you want it bad, you're going to practice till you get it. And that's when everything comes together. What's that feeling called when you're trying to draw but you can't draw it right and your head hurts and you just want to throw your pencil? Uh, that's called that's called being an artist. <laughs> yeah, 
yes <laughs> um that feeling is is quite common <laughs> But you know what? Um, something I tell myself when I get that feeling is to, okay, chill girl, finish the drawing. Did you learn something? Yes. What can you do differently next time? I could do that differently. And then just, you know, be happy that you finished something rather than like throw your pencil at the wall and be like, like I'm not good enough. This is not happening. I suck so much. Yeah, that's the bad attitude because then you'll just never progress. Just like never progress. Y'all know what I'm saying? My talent is being me. That's so cute. Yeah, girl. Keep being you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're quickly progressing here. classical art i love classical art i love i love i love going to museums and seeing some of the old classics i really like doing that and i'm really considering this summer to go to the museums because here in berlin you're allowed to bring like a little chair like a little um i don't know it's like a little triangle chair it's really really small you can carry it on your back and you're allowed to go into the museum sit and you're allowed to like sketch and look at look up at the like really really old paintings from centuries ago and kind of study that the way that they're done um, you can do this in all the museums here in Berlin, so I'm really, really considering doing that and kind of studying the way that the old masters used to do it, used to draw. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, the anatomy is a little bit different, but like the texture, like the way they did oil painting and stuff, oh, it really, really makes me happy. That's also a good way to learn as well. I need to find a style for my art, says Anime Gurk. Yeah, so do I. I feel you. I think this just naturally develops as you keep drawing. I feel like I haven't developed a style per se, and it's not... Like, I do have, in a way, kind of a style, but it's not the style I want, you know? I think this is only something that you can really start to notice once you, uh, once you get older and once you, you keep drawing and you get, you know, more experience. So don't sweat it if you guys are, like, stressing out about not having a style. I don't have a style yet, and I, I just learned to accept it. It's going to come. It's going to come one day. Did you have... Did have you got an automatic sharpener? I know I don't have an automatic sharpener. I have just regular sharpener. Although that is a good idea. Like, an electric sharpener would be so cool would save me a lot of hassle, but it's pretty loud, I think. Want to draw the kitty nose? Arthur, what should you draw? You should draw, draw a cat like I'm drawing. Challenge, draw an animal. Draw a kitty bear. Kitty! Little kitty bear. Okay, so we are progressing slowly here. What's your favorite anime? I don't have a favorite anime. I used to watch anime when I was like 14. It was like 10 years ago. Whoa, 11 years ago. It was <laughs> a decade ago. Um, I used to watch anime uh, back then, but I don't anymore. I've, I've really, I'm not into it as I used to be. And I used to be really, really into it. Remember one of my favorites was Fruit Baskets? Fruit Basket? Fruit Basket. I used to have the manga and then I also watched the anime and I was like, oh, Fruit Basket. It's so nice. But I actually can't remember what else I watched. Vampire Night, maybe? I think that was what it was called. I used to believe that buying expensive artist quality art supplies would suddenly make me good at art. So I spend loads of life savings and now I have loads of polychromos and copics. I'm only 12. <laughs> Girl, he got to chill. <laughs> um, buying expensive art supplies will not make you a better artist because you have to learn how to use it before you kind of invest. And that's kind of a common mistake at the very beginning. You think you have to get everything that the professionals have. 
you know and you're just like oh like i'm gonna buy this um because i saw like my favorite artist on youtube um buy it or whatever or use it and i'm going to, to draw exactly like her and that's a little bit it's a little bit um hard to say but you guys have to kind of start off easy get the cheap stuff don't break your bank for it like get the cheap stuff and then slowly progress once you're feeling comfortable you know how to use it you progress with the more expensive stuff and that's totally up to you what you want to buy but um expensive stuff is always nice to have but it's a little bit i mean it's expensive so you want to have money to go out with your friends and whatnot to buy some video games corpse party uh, I have to. <laughs> I have to watch it. <laughs> I think that my webcam is a little bit dark for some reason. Let me just check the settings for a second, guys. Gonna check the settings. There you go. All right. Oh, it's Villon. Villon. Welcome, welcome. Long time no chat. <laughs> Villon, Villon. Oui, oui, oui. Villon, Villon, Villon. Bunny, can you draw a horse? I've had uh, many requests for drawing horses. Um, I'm, I've never drawn a horse before. I think it would be a, a, quite of a big challenge. Uh, perhaps I will once I get a little bit better with the anatomy of, of animals and whatnot. But for now, I'm not going to draw one because I don't know how. I don't know how to draw one. They're really bad. I can only draw select animals for now until I learn how to draw the others. And that's totally fine. Guys, if you guys are in the same situation, you're feeling pressure to draw all kinds of things, don't pressure yourself. Start to learn certain animals, you know, as basics, and then kind of progress from there. Do not pressure yourselves. That's something I have to learn how to do. Um, what am I using here? Number three. How did you meet Niku and why is he a mod? Um, <laughs> how did I meet Niku? Uh, well, <laughs> I met Niku in one of my early streams and he was one of the first people to contact me to become a mod and I was like, I was really struggling because I had so, like, one of my early streams had so many views, like, I think YouTube is recommending it as a new YouTuber. And it was being recommended everywhere. And I got really, really crazy stream one day. And I had like 2,000 people in the chat and I couldn't cope with it. I was like, oh my gosh, I was getting death threats and I was getting really bad things for kids to read. And I was like, no, I can't do this. And then uh, Nico contacted me and I thought about it. And then I was like, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Bunny for president. I would not do good with that. We're not too good with stress. Bunny for president. President Bunny. How many polychromos do I have? Woo! Um, I have a whole collection, like a box set here of... How many? I actually can't remember how many... I probably have a hundred, maybe close to a hundred. I have a lot. I have a lot. Um, I think in total there's 120 polychromos. Like the colors you can get for Fab Faber Castell is 120. And I definitely don't have 120 because I, I don't have to, I don't need all the colors. I don't use all the colors. I mean, it would be really cool to have eventually, but I don't use it, you know? Um, 
and then yeah i just have duplicates i have a lot of duplicates because i do use a lot of colors over and over again for example the grays that i'm using right now like the warm grays i use this a lot so i always have to keep buying new ones uh because i use it for every every animal i draw i pretty much draw with warm gray Do you buy it individually yeah um i've been gifted kind of box sets like the box set of i think it was 26 or i can't remember it was like a the smaller box set of faber castell or the medium size in the tin case i've been gifted a couple times the faber castell um yeah uh gift sets and then i buy i typically buy them individually yes because i have Pretty much all the colors i ever use and then as soon as i run out i go to the store and just buy the one pencil and i think they're approximately a euro a euro 20 or a euro i think a euro 20 each so for one you're paying yeah a euro 20 and if you think of it i mean it could be pricey for some people but for me it's totally worth it i haven't found anything that comes close so there's always prisma colors but being in germany i don't really have the chance to try prisma color they don't sell it here. Open a PO box. I, I um, uh, what's the word? I signed up for a PO box in Berlin, uh, close to my home, and then they sent me a message saying that it's all totally full and they don't have like a solution for me. So I have to call them and double check. But I am looking into it because I don't know. They say all the PO boxes are full here, which you know, living in a big city, of course. Uh, which kind of sucks kind of sucks but yeah i'm working on opening a p.o box for sure bye nafal thanks for joining okay so we're gonna add a lot of kind of a darker undertone under his chin because we want to give the impression that he's looking up because he is looking up but um a way to do this is to kind of play around with the shadows a little bit more so right now i don't really have too many shadows happening and i have to work at it to get it really standing out and so the way i kind of build shadows is what you guys have been seeing i start from the light color to the dark color to kind of build a gradient and then i proceed with um a kind of like the very last layer it's going to be the darkest and this is where i press really really hard to get the white paper out of the way because the white of the paper will come through uh which is why you gotta apply layers and if you really want the, the white to be gone you want to press really really hard um, you don't want to press hard at the beginning because that's where you won't be able to blend as nicely because it's already going to be blended it's just going to be one solid color which might not look as nice and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a blender, so a kind of splending stump, which is just paper. Um, I have a thicker one somewhere, but we're just going to use a lighter one for now. We're just going to blend the color a little bit more here. And this is going to kind of let the... So like the paper, what I'm saying, is coming through a little bit, and this is going to make sure that the color is one nice gradual color and there's no paper and you don't see the pencil strokes as much. And this is a trick that you can use in terms of shading a face, for example. If you're using graphite pencil, you want to shade with this um, blending stump. I think that's what it's called. I actually can't remember the name. So it's getting much smoother now. We're going to apply another layer of dark it's not dark enough it looks kind of funny how many colors does prisma color have i actually have no idea i would I, honestly guys i'm considering order prisma colors from amazon i can get them on amazon and i can do a comparison video because i really don't know they are a bit different I have seen beautiful artwork done by Prisma Colors and as well as, you know, Faber Castell. So I'm really curious to see how they work. But yeah, my my heart lies with Faber. My heart. Ah. 
uh, video, if you're wondering where to buy Prismacolors, you can probably find them on Amazon. Check on Amazon, and if you're underage, get your parents to order it. But I've only been able to find them on Amazon, especially if you're in Europe. I'm not sure, like, in your country specifically, but I've, I've had major difficulties finding it in a store. They just don't sell them here. But it might be different in, in Sweden, I think you said? There are 150, yeah. So there are 30 colors more, like 30 more colors than Faber. Which is, yeah, I think whether you use all those colors or not, it's up to you. But I honestly don't personally see why I would need to use every color. Because even for Faber-Castell, I don't use all the colors. It's not something that I really, I don't see a need right now. Yeah, you're going to find a lot of poly polychromos because uh, it's, uh, yeah, Faber-Castell is like a huge German-European brand. It's the brand. I remember as a child, Faber-Castell was like the brand. You could get Crayola, but I never wanted Crayola. I always wanted to get Faber-Castell because it had a pretty castle on like the logo as well as the, um, like on the boxes. There was always a castle and I was like... Oh my god, like as a child I wanted that because of the castle. <laughs> it's kind of funny if you think about it. It's just Yeah. Never wanted Crayola. I was like, oh Crayola is for kids. Even though I was like seven years old. Thank you, Swirly Hamster. Welcome. Bunny, what do you like more? Oil pastels or soft pastels? <sighs> Um, I, I can't answer that properly because I'm not a pastel user. I really, I only use a little bit of pastels. I've been recently dabbling in the, um, I actually don't know if these are soft pastels from Derwent and these are really cool, really cool. Actually, I could probably use it right now. I think I have a darker one so somewhere. Do I? Yeah, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, these are really cool pencils. The Der Derwent ones. I don't know if you guys, like, I don't know where you guys are located, but these are English, English brand. And these are really cool. They're really sweet. They blend so nicely, too. I'm not going to use it now because it's not what I'm using as medium, but yeah. How do you make proper sketches without getting your work all dirty? Do you mean like your hand rubbing? Like I've already done it a little bit with a bird. It doesn't look that nice. Um, yeah, like do you mean if I if I if I accidentally rub my hand into the sketch, like the graphite pencil, for example? Uh, I mean that is kind of like I don't really know. Like I use paper to avoid like what I'm doing right now with the, the paper towel. And I also just learned to be careful because I've wrecked so many times where it was just like, especially when you're using watercolor, you might smudge something by accident with your hand. And um, I've just learned to be careful. That's all I could really, really do. Music! Ah, I don't have music. I totally forgot about the music, guys. Oh no. Yeah, it's too late. I, I don't, I have to set up the music player. La 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 la. I'm kind of on a roll. Kind of on a roll. So, okay, so the ears here, I want to add more to the ears. E -e ears. Uh, but I feel like not touching it. <laughs> and it still gets dirty anyway. <laughs> I think it's just practice, honestly. You have to get used to it. You have to be very conscious when you draw. Like, where where your hands are at all times, where the pencil is at all times. Sometimes I've done, like, the stupid mistake of holding my, my brush with paint on it, and it just slipped from my fingers and totally ruined, like, a spot I did not want paint to go. And that that is also quite, quite bad. You just have to be very, very careful and very con conscious, con conscious, conscious of, of where you are at all times with this stuff 
But again, using paper will help. Especially when you're drawing with pencil crayon or... Um, yeah. With graphite pen er, pencil. Do not use B pencils. I love B pencils. I, I really, really like B pencils. I have trouble drawing with H HB pencils because I find that they're too... I don't know. I know it's the pencil to use as an initial. Like, in school, they always told you, like, get an HB pencil. But I always have troubles. I really like the B pencils. They are softer. And when you're using graphite, when you're doing it with graphite, oh, it goes on like butter. You're just like, ah, it's so nice. All right. Okay, so we're almost kind of through with the face here. Um, I think I'm going to add touches of orange, especially around the nose area. There's smudges of orange here. It's kind of this is a burnt ochre color. It's a beautiful color. I love this color. How about 9B? I've never the the one I use the most is 8B. Uh, that's the highest I've ever gone. I've never gone higher than 8B. And I use it very seldomly. Like, I, I won't use it mostly for maybe background work and or the hair. If I'm drawing in black and white, like in graphite, I will use 8B for, for those kind of details. But I, I really... <laughs> you have to be careful. Uh... <laughs> I use 2B the most, I think. 2B is the one I, I, I really enjoy. But when I'm talking about this, I mean specifically from drawing graphite drawings. Like if I'm drawing something like what I, I drew now, then I will draw either HB or um, 2H as well. Nine Vs from Faber Castell. Is that specifically to Faber Castell? Because otherwise, that's pretty cool. It's like, dang, Faber. Goatee the goat. Are you in art school? That's really cool. I kind of wish I went to art art school. Not sure if I would have liked it because there's a lot of like weird people in art school. You know, you know what I'm saying? If you guys are in art school, you guys know what I'm talking about. There's there's a lot of kind of weird people. You're just like, oh my gosh. Okay, I have a story actually, guys. I have a story. One time, um, like okay, it's a story from my mom. She went to art school. And um, there was a girl in her class, like, I don't know, it was like a painting class or something. There's a girl who walked in, like, it was their finals, and they were showing off, like, their painting or whatever. And uh, their, fi their final exam. And she walked in with her painting, and her painting, she literally just pooped on her canvas and spread it around. And that was her art. That was literally her art. And she had some, like, edgy message and everything. And my mom said she can remember it smelling so bad. Like, guys, don't do that. Don't poop on a canvas and call it art. That's just like, that's just like a slap in the face, you know? I don't know. Okay, let me know if you guys can hear me better. Seems like my mic is also <laughs> kind of quiet. I don't know why, guys. Because when I record a video, it's fine. Let me check let me check my uh volume my audio vol volume here recording devices oh it is quite low hello hello let's adjust this hello hello what up guys hello hello can you guys hear me better this way Okay, let me know if you guys can hear me better. I think this is better. I think the microphone, because it's angled funny, should be better. Yeah, um, depends on the teacher. I think that's what you said. Goatee? Yeah, it definitely does. I went to design, like I was design school, bachelor of design, and um, it really depends on the teacher. Some teachers are, uh, can be very demotivational or demotivate. yeah, demotivational. They 
will make you want to do really fantastic work but at the same time they might discourage you and you know they all have different styles they all have different opinions and it's a bit tough sometimes to really get it right because maybe it's good for one like your work could be good for one teacher and then for another teacher they're like oh um excuse me like why did you do it like that like eh yeah that's happened so many times and it gets a little bit frustrating because you're there to learn you know and it's just like oh I don't know. Anime Gurk. Okay, so I should just... Sh should I keep teaching myself on YouTube? Teach yourself on YouTube. Find YouTubers you really enjoy watching. Follow the tutorials. Learn from them. That's the way I'm learning as well. And um, go on Pinterest, for example, find tutorials as well, like picture tutorials on how to draw certain things, how to draw cats, how to draw eyes, humans, anything you want. There's all kinds of cool things. Deviant art as well. Um, buy books on Amazon or go to your library, go to, I don't know, chapters, whatever, whatever bookstore you guys have. And um, do, you know, self, self teacher, like teach yourself. Like that's the coolest thing. You have something to look forward to every single day. And you teach yourself and honestly guys in a matter of months you will see an improvement it's so quick but you have to be dedicated you know you have to you have to push yourself it's it's motivation and patience as well but it can happen very quick and actually i learned so much more than i did than when i was in school like honestly not related to art but in general like creative thinking you know um the way to market yourself, social media, stuff like that. Like, it's just self-taught. Should I go for polychromos if I want to blend? Good question. Um, I can only tell you that I'm able to blend nicely with polychromos. I can achieve a quite a nice blend with polychromos. I cannot say the same for, um, uh, what's the other, Prisma color because I've never used it. But I am quite happy. So like right now I'm using the blending stump and it is turning out quite nice. Actually only recently since I've been starting to use the blending stump, I never used to before. Like I, I just never did. I just didn't know, I don't know why I never did. But the blending stump does work beautifully with polychromos and if you can only buy polychromos then go go for it because it works quite nice i do think so i'm really sad i missed the start of your live stream ah you didn't miss much it's okay i'm kind of taking my time with this one it's been a it's been a long time since i did an actual live stream so i'm, I'm just i'm just chilling and chatting with y'alls this might be a longer live stream so you guys don't have to watch everything i might cut this into two parts but i'm not so sure yet it depends how i feel later on but i will be live streaming tomorrow and i will be live streaming on sunday at least that's the plan so if you guys are worried that you're gonna miss it um yeah i'll be posting the schedule after i'm done this on my youtube channel so you guys can see what hours i'm live streaming on and then yeah feel free to join afterwards okay so we've got the kitty um kitty 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 prisma colors are not the best eh. <laughs> can't say i mean i'm not gonna say i'm happy to hear that but i am a firm supporter of polychromos although ah, to clean my water brush okay i'm gonna start with the watercolor again we're gonna start drawing the stripes on his body very very slowly Gotta have to clean my brush first, though. Yeah, Swirly, thank you! Kitty! Kitty! Okay, we're going in for the watercolor! We're going in! It's been so long since I've done watercolor. Da, 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 da. The stripes are gonna be quite dark in nature. They're almost black on his back. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the initial color down first of just the browned tone. 
and I'm not going to get the kitty stripes perfectly right. Um, this is kind of like just an illustration. It's not realism. I'm not going for realism here. I'm going for more of like a storybook illustration kind of look. And I really like this method. I, I'm quite fond of storybook illustration. Maybe I have to zoom out, I think. Eh. Which watercolor do you use? I'm using right now Schmincke, but I also use uh, Windsor and Newton, but I use primarily Schmincke. I'm a huge Schmincke fan. Again, German company, so I can get it here quite easily. And uh, it's, it's, it's pricey, but you know, being in Germany, it's not as pricey as it would be if I were to buy it in Canada, for example. And yeah, I love, I love it. I love it so much. What is the best beginner set for polychromos? There is a beginner set in a green box and it has pretty much all the primary colors you want to start off with. I think it's a set of 24 if I'm not mistaken and it's just a classic polychromo set that you can buy. And this was actually the first set that I got um, as a beginner and I got it as a gift for my birthday like three years ago. Um, and then I just never looked back. I was just like, yeah, <laughs> but that's a good set to get because you get all the primary colors. It's a green box. You can probably find it online um, through Amazon or your local art store. It's one of the most popular, I would say. <laughs> Satan dislike this. Hi, Satan. <laughs> He's watching my live stream and disliking it. <laughs> Oh, it's a set of 12. Yeah, there we go. Why did I think it was 24? I thought it was much bigger than 12. But that could be very... I mean, 12? Yeah. And the prices should not be too much. 12, I think it would be around like... I can't... Oh, I actually can't remember. They're like 1 euro 20 cents each. Um, so maybe you pay like 15 bucks or so for the set of 12. Shouldn't be so, so, so bad. Yeah. 12 colors are not enough. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's the thing. 12 colors are definitely not enough. If you want to get started, you want to get used to it, um, you can buy that or you can go to your art store and buy single ones as well. They definitely sell them single, single pencils, so you can just buy single ones. For these, if you want to buy just single pencils instead of a set, I would recommend maybe getting the warm gray colors, for example. Warm gray looks really good for a face as well as for animal fur. And um, you can also get skin tones. There's many, many nice skin tones. And you can just get started that way. Um, make your own set of 12. I think that's that's something that I would probably have done if I was not gifted the set. Because even in the set, you've got colors like I wouldn't necessarily use. I'd never use red. I never use um, yellow, for example. These are just colors I don't use. Um, and those colors are included. So it really depends what you're looking for, but... Yeah. I should probably change the thumbnail. <laughs> it's been a while since I've changed the thumbnail. Okay, guys, one second. We're gonna change the thumbnail. Na 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 <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> you know, I like following little artists or like um artists like young artists i do like following the young artists and i like to see like every time you guys post on instagram i like to see the journey that you guys are taking and like how you guys are improving because i we're kind of improving at the same time and i want to encourage that i want to encourage you guys to to keep drawing and to 
to be the best that you guys can be and to just never give up on what you guys really want uh which is why i like to watch you guys draw and post pictures on instagram it's inspiring me too you guys inspire me i should say it's quite cool <laughs> Ah, Nico, don't tease Arthur. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Yes, I do get a lot of messages on my Instagram, uh, and I, that's why I kind of don't look at them all. Um, I haven't looked at any of my messages for the past month because I've been really stressed and I just had to kind of back away from art and from the stress, you know. Uh, so I'm sorry if I didn't get to see your art, but I'm really happy you're letting me know that, um, that I inspire you. That's all I pretty much want to accomplish. Uh, so thank you for sending me your art and I hope you're, you still, you keep on drawing. I have so many messages. I have a lot, a lot. It's just, it's really hard to keep up with it. But I do really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want me to, like, instead of sending me a private message, you can also just, like, tag me in your art. I can see it then pretty much right away rather than via message. Uh, it's always been difficult for me to keep up with the messaging. But if you tag me, then, yeah, I definitely take a look at it right away. Because it's just there, you know? He's looking like a cow! Do you accept commissions, Bunny? I do. I do. Of course I do. It's been a while since I've done a commission. Um, but I, I, I've accepted them. I used to do them all the time on Instagram. Like, people would message me. And I would do commission, mostly animals. And, yeah, like pets. Pet portraits. Oh my gosh, looking back, I was so bad at it, so bad at it. But I was really helped, like, I was really happy people were messaging me, asking me to draw their pets. It was really, really cool, and that's kind of what kickstarted everything. So yes, I do accept um, commissions. If you guys want to get in contact with me, email me, info at brushesandbunnies.com. And we can work something out for sure, for sure. mozzarella stick <laughs> what are you talking about i never had mozzarella sticks on on my channel i don't eat mozzarella sticks <laughs> maybe it was the carrot sticks i had carrot sticks one time on a live stream and it was like uh it was just me eating carrot sticks and it was, <laughs> it was so it was so awkward it was just making so much loud noises in in the live stream <laughs> He's looking like a cow, looking like a cow, looking like a cow, cow cat. There are a lot of things to do with, there are a lot of things to spend. Artist life is being poor. <laughs> yes, but it makes you happy and that's pretty much, I mean, that's what should matter, right? <laughs> making you happy rather than making you poor and like being stressed out about being poor because you're trying to make art happen. I think <laughs> I think it's kind of, I don't know, you can't really look at it from that perspective. But yeah, it is true. Art supplies are expensive. Everything is expensive. The crunchy stream. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was eating, I think one live stream I was eating hummus chips and then I was eating carrot sticks and it was just like crunching in the microphone and I was trying so hard not to make noise but I was so hungry and that's all I had to eat was carrot sticks and like hummus chips. Good times, good times. I bought <laughs> I bought a 48 set of Prismacolor and 36 set of Copics and 12 brush markers this week, so I have absolutely no money. Who said art is cheap? I feel ya. For sure. Yeah. And it's just like, 
you you go to the art store and then you see something you really really like and you're like oh my gosh like i want to buy it i want to try it you know look, it looks so good it looks so cool to try it. you know like to experiment with and you see the price and you're just like oh my gosh you can't afford it then you have to wait a couple months until you're able to afford it and you're just like oh like that's what i i, I kind of don't like but at the same time like some days i'll just like oh, whatever either i'm spending my money on like maybe a new video game might as well just buy like what i want at the art store like it's priorities you gotta good check out your priorities guys have you ever drew a hamster bunny i did actually i drew a recent hamster I was doing a, a tutorial video actually. I have a video that I started working on how to draw a hamster. And uh <laughs> I thought of you swirly hamster. <laughs> but I drew I drew like there's a tutorial coming that I'm showing you guys how to draw a hamster. How to draw it and how to color it with fur. Um but I'm not sure I'm probably gonna edit it this weekend and release it. Release it to the public. He actually looks like a cow. Like this this cat looks like a cow right now. Oh, I marry someone who gives you pencils. One time I we had like our anniversary. My husband, he I was like he like he didn't know what to get me. Or like instead of getting me flowers and chocolate, which is kind of what people typically get, he got me he brought me to the art store and let me pick a bouquet of pencils. And I was like <gasps> <laughs> that's the way to a girl's heart <laughs> definitely that was nice that was a nice nice moment okay the tail is gonna look weird i'm just gonna let it i'm just gonna make the tail look like this for now we're gonna proceed with the tail later on so now i just want to get to the um details here it's probably fully dried so we can proceed really quickly with sketching in a little bit of the fur with the pencil crown And then, yeah, I think we're, we can start the, the bird and then the background afterwards. Cow cat. Kick, 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 cow. <laughs> crunchy food, yeah. I have today, actually, I do have crunchy food today. I have these hummus chips. I can show you. Okay, let's wait till this dries. I have hummus chips i don't know if you guys can see that no hummus chips with tomato basil and then i have after eight because this is my favorite chocolate in the world oh yeah thank you kevy mom oh, mom mom All right. Oh, I'm really hungry. I didn't have dinner and it's nine o'clock at night. Oh yeah, after eights are amazing. I love them so much. Yeah, bunny. What the bunny do? My rabbit. My rabbit's going inside his cage. He's It's dinner time for him. So he's just like, yo, where's my dinner? But I already fed him. Yeah, you're teasing mommy, huh? You're playing the sad, desperate bunny who wants treats, but really you already got them. Bunnies are cheeky. <laughs> after eights are the reason I'm fat. I haven't had after eights in maybe half a year. Um, so I, w I saw them at the store and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean... I've gained some weight. I have to say I've gained some weight because, <laughs> okay, here's a funny story. So maybe not funny, but <laughs> it, was, it was a story that I was just like, I kind of went a little bit crazy. So what happened was I was a little bit lactose intolerant for a couple years. I avoided milk because I thought it was making my stomach upset. Um, you know, German milk is quite rich. It's very different than Canadian milk. 
Uh, here it's like drinking cream and then in Canada it's all watered down so I was really not used to it so I just didn't I didn't eat yogurt I barely ate cheese and then I didn't drink milk while living in Germany for five years and then one day I decided like I started to kind of eat more dairy products and then I decided to um, start to drink a little bit of the milk and then I was like, okay, I'm not lactose intolerant. I, I can I can eat it without issues now. And then I went crazy. I went to the grocery store and I bought every single yogurt product. Everything. Everything. I wanted to try everything. Five years of not trying yogurts. And if you guys are not living in Germany or have never visited Germany, um, something about Germans, they love their yogurt and they love their milk products. Everything is just like, you have so much choice, beautiful choices. Oh my gosh, and I gained, I must have gained like 15 pounds from just eating yogurt and like really thick, creamy yogurt. Ah, so good. It's so good. <laughs> so I have to, I've recently stopped eating that much yogurt, but I definitely went on a huge binge for a very long time. Um, and now I'm just like, okay, I've tried everything. Now I just need to lose the weight. <laughs> but it was so good. Na 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 Oh, this kitty. You have so I you know, I really don't like drawing cats with this many stripes. I don't know why I've chose this type of cat. I think it's the most common. I'm not really a fan of these cats. I really like the kind of the British short hair, like the ones with the the fat faces. You guys know I love fat animals. Chubby chubby lords. You're making me want yogurt now. Oh. I also want some talking about it. I was like, "Oh, I have some yogurt in the fridge with like chocolate in it." And it's so good. You guys are one point set Arthur, you're one No you're not. You're thir you're what twelve years old and you're one point seven six meters? Dude, I'm one point seven five. You can't be taller than me at twelve. There's no way I don't believe you. Oh my gosh. I think 1.75 meters for those who don't measure themselves that way is five point or five foot eight, five foot nine. I think five foot nine. I think that's what it was. Five foot nine. <laughs> you found a pic of me with yogurt, probably. <laughs> I have many pictures of me with uh, chocolate and yogurt. Just my favorite food in the world. <gasps> yeah, his name's gonna be Yogurt. That's the perfect name, guys. Oh, little chocolate yogurt. Little yogurt drop. Hazelnut yogurt. Yeah, little baby yogi. I like that name. You guys rock. One ninety. Dang, you guys are all tall. Yogurt. Yes, you guys can email me. Feel free. It's totally fine. I do. I like receiving your emails. Yogurt, bunny yogurt. Four in a thousand children are my height for my age. Arthur, you know, I forget that you're 12. You talk so old, like like an in intellect, like a older gentleman. I keep forgetting you're 12 years old, like that's impressive. 
and you're taller than me like what say what I think I'm I don't know I don't know what <laughs> why are you guys all so tall it's so young <laughs> why <laughs> should I update the thumbnail ah let me finish kind of like the upper part of his body here and then we're gonna update the thumbnail afterwards just want to do a little bit more progression this is always the longest part is drawing the pattern of of the animal it's it can be very relaxing but when you just want to progress and make the image like get the image done it can be quite bothersome <laughs> you just kind of scribble 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 Twenty three and one hundred fifty six centimeters tall. So that makes you like what five, five, six, five, 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 six, maybe. <laughs> I'm five nine and one hundred seventy five centimeters. It was so weird when I first came to Europe. I had to know what my my height was in centimeters. I was just like what meters or whatever, and I was just like ah uh, like. Or centimeters, meters, centimeters, same thing, close enough. It was weird. Oh god, I feel super old now. I'm also old. I'm older than you, Eliza. By two years, so I feel like I'm the, the old granny in the chat right now. This is so bad. I'm so old. Old lady. I'm an old lady. Trop beau. Merci beaucoup. Margot, 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 merci beaucoup. Such a floofy kitty. Yeah, we're rocking and rolling. I think this is progressing quite nice. I'm quite happy with it. He looks really cute. Little baby kitten. Oh, Yoko's older than me. There's someone older than me. Yes. 158 centimeters. Yeah, so you're probably like 5'6". Five, 5'6 six. Five, six or so. Why are we talking about her height? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it started. Oh, I think Arthur. Arthur started. Arthur said it. And I was like, no way. You're not, you're not taller than me at like 12 years old. There's no way. But, yeah. Cute kitten. How many languages can you speak, Bunny? I can speak three. Three languages? I think that's enough languages, honestly. I, I really, really appreciate those people who can speak many different languages at once. I think it's really cool. I think it's more common in Europe, though. I mean, obviously. You live so close to different cultures. But in Canada, we speak, like, <laughs> two languages. <coughs> French and English, and then, uh, yeah. And then I thought, like, I was like, okay, I can speak French and English, that's awesome. And then I go to Europe, and everyone can speak different languages, like Spanish, Italian, like French as well, and I don't know, there's a lot of Russians as well, and you're just like, oh my god, like, <laughs> what? I don't know what, what? How did, what? what? People, people can speak so many different languages here, it's amazing. Thought I was cultured, but actually, no, not really. <laughs> oh, 158 is around 5'2. Woo! That is short. <laughs> Arthur is actually a 76 year old man. <laughs> That's what I wonder sometimes. <laughs> I can speak Serbian, Russian, and English. That's really cool. Those languages are sweet. Like, Russian is really cool. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> English is difficult, yeah. I'm quite fortunate I learned it at a young age. Actually, I couldn't speak English before I was 10, so until I was 10 years old, I only spoke French. I did not know English. I learned English in school at 10. So it's my second language, but uh, I speak English more than I do French. And that's why I don't have a French accent. I don't have, like, when I speak French, I have an English accent. When I speak German, I have a French accent. And when I speak English, I just sound Canadian. I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's kind of funny. Basic Spanish. Yeah, basic Spanish, I could kind of understand Spanish as well. I mean, once you know French and English, I feel like Spanish is really easy um, to understand, to, to know words. They just speak very fast, I find. Very, very fast. <coughs> okay. My husband literally said that he will give me part of his salary when I will be productive. What am I supposed to do? What do you mean productive? Being productive how? Like in your life, your work situation, or like what you're doing now on a Friday night? Being, produ being productive is a good thing. It's quite nice <laughs> if you're productive. I think it would go crazy if I, if I spend you know, my day is not being productive. That's why I have such a hard time to relax. I, I literally cannot relax. I, I have such a hard time to relax. I just want to work, 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 work. And then burn myself out. Oh, you're British! <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> you have a British accent, so that's okay. It's like, and one of my most favorite accents ever. That and Irish. 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 <coughs> yeah, we're British people. <laughs> okay, we're almost done with his little bitty paw. Little bitty paw. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay. I've got to sharpen. <laughs> Bradford, it's kind of rough. Do you have do you have a really cool accent? Like like I don't know. I don't know the accents, the dialects in uh England. But do you sound like um was it Cockney? Is it Cockney? I don't know. I'm really not knowledgeable in the British accents. My feet keep going, get going to sleep. Ah. Okay, there we go. Yorkshire accent. I'm from Birmingham in the UK, and accents are trash. I love it all. I love all the British accents, no matter how trashy it sounds. I could literally go 
to England and sit on the sidewalk and just listen to the people talk. It just sounds really creepy if I say it that way, but it's true. Like, I love the British accent. Any, any British accent, I should say. It's so nice. The posh accent? Slag? You, like, slang? Is that what you guys mean? Slang? Slag? Is that what you guys call it? I don't know. Slag. Slag. Slang. <coughs> oh no! Shamarni! Art will help you through that. If you have depression, art helps. I would say. I mean, I don't have that much experience with that, but I would say it's quite therapeutic. <coughs> oh no. Get better. Shamarni. Bistu. Dienige? I don't know what that word is. Die Kunst studier. Ich hab das Evan gelesen. Ich? Hab ich Kunst uh, studiert? N nein, ich habe nicht Kunst studiert. Das ist alles selbst gelernt. Selbst gelernt? Is that a word in German? I don't know. Self-taught, I want to say. Sel selbst gelernt? Gelernt? Selbst gelernt. Haha. <laughs> I actually have no idea if that if I'm making up words in German right now. A live stream. Yeah, welcome super purple fluff. It's been so long since I've had a live stream. But I think I'll be live streaming tomorrow, ho hopefully, and then Sunday for sure. I love I love live streaming on Sundays. Sundays is a really nice day for me. Like the one, as in, are you the one, Dienega? Is that like a slang? Is that an actual German word or is that slang? Dienega? <laughs> if you guys go to America with your British accents or even Canada, you guys will be like, you will have all the friends ever. Like, people are gonna be like, oh. Talk to me. Say say these words. Say tomato. Tomato. Ich hab mir das alles selbst beigebracht. Beigebracht. Ich hab mir das alles selbst beigebracht. That means I'm self-taught. Okay, so I totally butchered what I was trying to say earlier. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I, I've never heard the last word, so I don't really know. I don't have a very large German dialect, but I can kind of understand. Can you live stream Monday, please? No, Monday's my day off of everything. I need to have time off from art, also from work. So Monday, I just take a chill day and I play video games. Um, and actually, like, I work full time, so I can't really live stream on the weekdays as much because I'm, I'm just so tired coming home from work. Canada is great. Depends where you go in Canada. Canada is quite nice. Uh, it has beautiful nature, scenery. People are really friendly. I mean, it's where I grew up. It's where I, I come from, but... I have to say, I, I, I'm a huge Europe fan. I love Europe. Europe is so beautiful. It has much more beauty to me than Canada does. And it's very different. It's very, very different. It has more culture, I feel. More culture. What video games do you play, Bunny? Well, um, lately I've only been playing Elder Scrolls Online. I've been uh, trying to get through all of the quests as fast as I can. I love doing the quests. Like, Elder Scrolls Online is top game. Disregard what you've heard of the early reviews. It's gotten so much better. It's amazing. Trana? 
no <laughs> you can tell you're not from toronto if you say toronto we say trana trana want to go down trana hey y'all it's something that i always say trana 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 yo let's go down to trana if you say it that way then <laughs> you know that you're from around here trana Oh, <laughs> on dirait le chat de ma mamie, et est pareil. Oh, it's so cute. That's nice. Un beau petit uh, chat, chat. My French is so bad, guys. Austria is great for vacation in winter. Yes, 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 definitely. It's beautiful. I've never actually been to Austria, but I'm planning on going very soon. And um, I, I mean, winter would, is fantastic. You can literally drive there from Germany, which is really cool. And then you can just go there for a winter vacation, which is really, really nice. They have beautiful, like, winter sports you can do. Beautiful mountains. Um, and then, but I, I kind of want to go in the summertime to see the Alps in the summertime. Trana, 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 Trana. I'm hopefully visiting, maybe, I might be visiting Canada this July, might, maybe. Not confirmed yet. Um, I have four weeks off work, like my sabbatical. Like here in Germany, you can take four weeks off in total um, for like if you worked at a company for three years, for example, that's what's offered at our company. and. We are, uh, I have four weeks off uh, coming up. And then I have on top of that extra 28 paid holidays. So I have like six weeks of holidays for the rest of the year to take off. So I might be going to visit um, my family in, in Toronto. Maybe, maybe. So if you guys are uh, any Canadians in here, you guys want to meet up? Well, we can possibly. Meetups are... I've never done a meetup. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Kaninchen! I love the German pronunciation of rabbit. So do I! I love it! That was one of the very first words I learned how to say in German. Was Kaninchen or the Hasi. Ha Hasi, Hasen. Hasian? I can't pronounce that one as well. But Kniechen, I say all the time. Meine kleine Kniechen. Mein baby Kniechen. Kniechen. I'm Canadian. Where are you going? I'm going to Toronto. Toronto is where I'm from. Toronto, 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 Toronto. Yeah, um, yeah, but like, uh, yeah, Toronto. Toronto is where I, I'd go. Although I would like to travel. I might, like, yeah, I don't know. It's all speculation at this point. I would really like to go to the States as well a little bit, like New York. Because it's close by. It's like eight hours by train to go to New York from Toronto. And then, yeah, I don't know. But I kind of don't want to go to, I mean, I want to go to the States. But at the same time with what's going on. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, Blasta. Hazi. Hazi. Kleine Hazi. Did you replace your sky blue polychromos yet? No, I didn't. I didn't replace it yet. I actually, I haven't needed it. Um, although it would have been useful for this drawing. I think I'm going to be having some blue in the, in the bird. Uh, it would have been quite nice actually for his feathers, but I have other blues that I can use. I haven't replaced it. I can't believe it. I used to use it all the time. I just realized your streaming server being late. No worries. I'm not sure if my stream is being recommended. It was really spontaneous and it was just like, um, I was just like, oh, I got home from work today and I was like, oh, I feel like streaming. We're just going to do it. It wasn't even a live event, nothing. Just decided to stream. 
because I haven't done one in a very long time. British Columbia. Oh, I would I would love to go to Brit British Columbia. It's quite far. It's it's very expensive to travel within Canada, which is kind of crappy in that sense because you're in the country, but for me to go to British Columbia, it would cost me the same as if I were to go to Europe, for example, in terms of the flight. I mean, um, that's what I kind of don't like about it. And then if it would take me, it would take me like, what, two weeks to drive down there, maybe? It's pretty crazy. Is it two weeks? Like, one week there, one week back? I don't know. Oh, my hand's cramping up. <sighs> I also have so many replacements of my polychromos. I have a, I mean, especially for the colors, like the warm grays that I use, I, I use a lot of warm grays and I buy them constantly because I use them so quickly. I burn through them so fast. Um, so I tend to buy a couple, couple of them and just have them in stock. And then I, I kind of, uh, yeah, especially if you're like in a month where you don't have that much money, but the month before you might have more money. Might as well just stock a little bit, especially if you use it all the time. Just makes more sense. I think I might have to zoom out a little bit. We're gonna have to zoom out. Oh, Nico, <laughs> you don't want to move to the U.S. <laughs> uh, why would you move to the U.S.? I don't know. I get, I mean, oh. Uh, don't leave Europe, man. Don't leave Europe. Like, the U.S. is a kind of a difficult situation. As much as I'd love the land, I would never move to the U.S. just because the I think the biggest reason would be healthcare. And the fact that job benefits don't have the same as here in Germany. And it's just, I don't know how it is in Poland, but yeah, it's very much different. I would not move back. Move back to the to Canada or move to the U.S. It's just no out of the question. <laughs> Yoko, <laughs> why are you always drawing animals? The question or the answer to that question is because I um, first started with animals because it was easier for me, and I progressed easier with animals, and that's what, kind of where kicks started off what I like the fact that I enjoy drawing um I'm currently learning how to draw humans that's just something that I, I it's taking time to progress this is why you're not seeing me live stream humans yet because I'm still learning how to draw it and I, I like sketch every single day how to draw eyes noses lips the whole face everything um starting to slowly make compositions with it eventually within I would say within a couple months I'm going to start streaming human compositions with a human maybe with an animal or just do something more fantasy like um this is definitely my goal it's what I'm working hard towards right now uh but it takes a lot of time and I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys what I like how my progression is in terms of human faces currently I do it a little bit in my videos but uh not as much as I, you know, I would love to live stream with like drawing a girl, for example, but I'm not skilled yet enough to do that. <laughs> Lawfully a noble, you're, Arthur, you're saying you're a no noble. I can probably one up you on that respect. What if I told you I was also most likely a noble, coming from a noble family, but a French one? <laughs> I'm not even joking. There's a statue of my great, 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 whatever, grandfather in Quebec City. Also a, na a name, or a street named after him. 
uh, what's my last name? Uh, but this goes back into like the 1600s. It was a long time ago. So technically I don't have that right anymore. But I mean, they were a noble family, noble military family as well. Kind of interesting history. We had like fights, like my, my ancestors had fights with the Indians, like the Native Americans that lived in Canada, the Iroquois. They had fights and a couple of his sons were killed in battle and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, like it's so cool. Like we had some fights with the Indians and they lost. Like that's crazy. <laughs> My mind chose me an elf. Me too. <laughs> I keep thinking of, you know, I think it's pretty common, you know, elves. In terms of fantasy characters, I think it's one of the most common characters you will find. You take a look at, like, Lord of the Rings, um, which was huge for, you know, the elf, elf movement, I should say. I think Lord of the Rings really impacted me as a child. I watched it as a child, and I've rewatched it countless times, and I've read the books, and uh, just, like, Lord of the Rings in general was fantastic fantastic and every time i you know i want to get into that kind of fantasy sort of art form also pop surrealism i would love to do but every time i think of fantasy i think of drawing elves or mystical creatures of some sort oh thank you myth Mythicality. Can't pronounce your name. Mythicality. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I know I'm always preaching that I, you know, it's all about the journey. It's all about like, you know, the effort that you're putting into, not how, you know, the end result. The fact that you're just learning is what's important. And I, I tell you guys that all the time. And I say that in my live streams and we talk about this. But I still have a, like, I, I have to, like, I'm still learning how to let things go and how to, you know, it's okay if you show art that is not the best, you know? It's okay. It might not be good for you, but maybe in someone else's eyes, they might think it looks really good. Um, and they wish they can do something like that. But I put too much high expectations on myself and I never get anything done. And I'm afraid to kind of show it to people out there because I'm afraid of their opinions or um, I'm afraid I'm going to look a little bit like stupid in a way but then i have to remind myself i'm still learning like that's okay to do like these mistakes are fine it's all good how much longer am i going to stream um well here's the thing i was considering to finish this i i would like to finish a full piece it is 9 30 oh my gosh it's already 9 30 um it's 9 30 <laughs> at night I may do a part two of the stream for tomorrow, like finish the background work because I want to put a lot of details in the flowers and this might take me a, a while, so I might stream for another hour or so, maybe. Oh, you were scared because of the orcs, it's so cute, yeah. I can, yeah, the orcs were really scary, like the first one, the first Lord of the Rings I watched, I was quite young, I, I, I don't remember how old I was, but I watched it and like the really really like scary orcs oh my gosh they did look really scary they were good looking i mean not good okay they weren't handsome orcs but they were good looking in the sense that they were scary looking you know and that was like oh my gosh they were scary but it was oh so good All I can draw is cat faces. <laughs> if you're noticing that you're drawing the same thing over and over again, like you're saying all that you can draw is cat faces and you wish that you can draw something different, I would recommend kind of breaking out of your shell. Something that I had to do and I had to kind of um, tell myself or to, to force myself to break out of my shell, draw something new that I've never done before, for example, humans. And um, I did that within the past kind of six months or so and it really changed my perspective on art and you kind of grow as an artist in terms of what you can do and techniques and stuff like that and that's how you build yourself so i would definitely recommend if you're drawing cats constantly and you you get really good at it that's really great but at the same time 
you want to kind of expand your knowledge or expand uh, yeah expand your knowledge into like what you can do different techniques because what ends up happening is for example i can draw animals but if i go into different techniques i learn how to draw a human shape properly i learn about the shadows i learn about you know different ways to enhance features I bring that technique and I put it back into the animals and then the animals themselves just gradually get better because I'm kind of trying new things and that's really cool it's really nice don't be afraid that it looks stupid you can keep the drawings to yourself but at the same time you're just you know you're learning you're learning stuff and in the end you'll you're gonna be so much happier for it maybe Patrick is an orc no, Patrick is an elf. Oh man, you know, watching Lord of the Rings, I, I love the elf so much. Like Legolas, oh, Legolas. I had a crush on Legolas. Quelle heure qu'il est? Uh, novel. Uh. Oh, forget my, I forget my my French numbers. I'm only thinking German right now. Uh, novel trente. That's how, that's how, that's how late it is. <laughs> Bunny, have you ever been to New Zealand? I have not. I would love to go to New Zealand. My husband and I both want to go to New Zealand. New Zealand would be so cool. It looks really nice. I heard it's quite expensive to go. I don't know how much the flights are. I'd have to check it out. Thank you, Nicholas. Had a crush on Orlando, eh? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, yeah, Orlando Bloom was like the nicest looking thing. <laughs> well, Lord of the his character in Lord of the Rings was really nice, and he was like a crush. Like every girl I knew in school had a crush on Orlando Bloom. My phone's vibrating. Ah. <laughs> Living life on the edge again. Ooh, you're eating chips while you're drawing. Be careful yes you're living life on the edge oh watch those fingers watch those fingers the last thing you want is greasy fingers or greasy marks on your paper i've been there i've done that and then you notice after when you like remove your fingers you're just like ah oh, like there's grease marks why didn't i just wash my fingers why did i have to eat chips that's hardcore Nicholas, <laughs> I said your name right. <laughs> mm. oh, yeah, yeah. I should probably update the thumbnail very soon. Okay, we're almost done his. <gasps> My light is falling. We're almost done his little body here. You've never seen Lord of the Rings? Whoa! Get on that. It's a classic. Classic. It's really great. One of the best fantasies. Oh, I should watch it again. <gasps> guys, guys, guys. Talking about Lord of the Rings. This reminds me. Are you guys excited for the new Game of Thrones? Did you guys see the little teaser trailer that came out? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know who here has read the Game of Thrones series and who is like me who's waiting on the sixth book to come out like oh my god na 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 Is that a little inappropriate for kids? 
Game of Thrones? Yes, actually. <laughs> For those of you guys who are over the age, who are not underage, who's excited for Game of Thrones? <laughs> you guys are all too young for Game of Thrones? <gasps> I feel so- oh my gosh, this is so weird. Okay, guys, I'm sorry if I'm recommending it because I typically, like, you know, I'm talking with my friends and I talk with my colleagues and we always talk about Game of Thrones like it's nothing. But then I tend to forget you guys are so young and you guys haven't- are not allowed to watch that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah, if you guys are underage, don't watch that. <laughs> when you guys are of age, do watch it. Um, you will love it. It's one of the best shows that has ever been created. Actually, really good book series as well. Fantastic. My dad says there is nude in it. Well, there's a lot more than <laughs> just that in, in this series. Um, don't read the books if you're underage. There's a lot of... Well, it's it's for it's for a mature audience. Let's just put it that way. I'm 12 and I watched it with my parents. <laughs> oh... I've, I actually didn't watch it with my parents. I watched it uh, with my husband only. My parents are not into it. Actually, I don't think they know how epic it is. Walking Dead. Yeah, Walking Dead was another one that I, I quite enjoyed, but I got really, really bored of it by the fourth season. Like, fourth season just killed me. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, it's just, it's so boring. It's only about the characters. I want to see some zombie action, guys. Like, not, don't give me, don't give me some drama. I want to see some zombies. I want them, you know, that suspense of running away. You know, like killing zombies. Is uh, <laughs> fantasy medieval age? No, it's so much more than that. <laughs> no. There's a lot of awkward pauses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Th first three seasons of Walking Dead were pretty cool. I also agree with that. Season three was quite nice as well. And then season four was just like, oh, like, oh, I couldn't watch it. It was really boring. I don't know. Do you guys know the show Z Nation? Z Nation? Z Nation? It's another zombie show. Uh, this one is a little... It's... it's it's quite different. It's funny. And it's all about like zombie action and it's quite nice. The characters are quite nice. I really enjoy it. It's like a comic book style. I think it is a comic book actually. They made it into a TV show. I would recommend that one as well. If you guys are into zombie zombie stuff, that one was quite good. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Did I go too close? There you go. Ah! Okay. <sighs> My back is cramping, guys. No! Give me an animal to attempt to draw right now. I have paper and it's blank. Draw a... <sighs> First things that came to my mind. Seal, turtle, shark, chihuahua. I don't know. I don't know why those animals. I was just thinking about that. Chihuahua. Why would I think of a chihuahua? Was it... Okay, that's, that's the weirdest mix of animals I ever thought of. Chihuahua. <laughs> From all the Game of Thrones episodes, I saw only Joffrey's death. Oh, yeah, 
yes. The infamous scene. <laughs> it was a good one. I, I that was that's that was quite nice. It was very satisfying. I think Star Wars is better than Walking Dead and well everything on this planet. <laughs> Star Wars, yeah. I, I'm I'm a fan of Star Wars. I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars. I didn't really grow up with Star Wars. I do enjoy watching the movies. More than Star Trek, I would say. And then I have played like Lego Star Wars. That was my introduction to Star Wars at the time, at the age. And Lego Star Wars is like one of the best games ever. I love it so much. I just now realized the music on the stream. Yeah, I forgot to put the music on and then I just got too lazy to add it afterwards. Maybe probably next stream, like tomorrow I'll have the music on. Completely forgot. It's been a while since I did on the stream, so I'm kind of rusty. Da, 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 da. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Lego games are so cool. They totally are. I love them so much. They're fantastic. All of the Lego games. Like, oh my gosh, I love the Lego games. So great. Oh, we almost done his tail. And his tail I'm more like his butt. We're almost done his butt, guys. The level of detail here is killing me. I'm just I'm kind of out of practice, so this is like I used to be used to drawing maybe six hours straight without anything, but I, I'm kind of out of practice. A little bit tired from work today, so thank you yoko i will be drawing a lot more humans i have a really cool one i kind of want to draw i mean i think um live stream this week like this weekend maybe sunday i think i have i have one planned with a human in it um it's like a spring springy kind of feel i really want to do it I, drew, I sketched her briefly yesterday or a few days ago and i thought of maybe doing a live stream with her it would be really interesting so i think i'm gonna do a live stream with a human in it it's really hard it's, it's, i find it really hard do you like to play walkthroughs of games Gameplays. I like to watch gameplays. I like to watch walkthroughs. Um, in terms of making one myself, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's not gonna. Be... Okay, so here's the thing. When I play games, especially if it's if I have to fight, if I have to do like shoot or anything that's violent or stressful, I tend to say things I should not say, and I get quite intense and. Uh, it's more of a private thing that I probably should keep private rather than record myself. It's not child friendly, I would say. So I don't know, like live streams, if I play anything that's scary, I'm gonna scream and I'm probably gonna swear. So I'm not so sure if that's uh, appropriate for my kind of art brand. I don't know. Self-portrait would be cool. I'm definitely working on it. Self-portrait? Oh, I should probably do self-portrait. Live stream self-portrait, yo. Yo! Gonna live stream self-portrait. Tu fais de, du dessin depuis combien de temps? Ça fait trois années? Trois années? Sorry, my French is super rusty. Trois ans. Trois ans. Ça fait trois ans que je fais du, du dessin. 
<laughs> I can understand French, but my, my speaking back is quite challenging for me. I'm totally out of practice. It's my first language and I totally suck at it. Yeah, you don't seem like the kind of person who would swear. I, I have to control myself um, online because, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I do. Uh, yeah, you just don't know her well enough. Yeah, I do. I do. I do do it. I don't want to admit it because there's young people, but I, I do a lot. Yeah. You get to a certain age where you just don't care. You're just like, uh, like whatever. It's not like I do it in public, but if I play a scary game, I would die. <sighs> okay. Okay, chocolate break, guys. Chocolate break. My legs are cramping up. I have to fix my seat. Mm. After eight. Chocolate break. Are you going to get on Steam after the stream? Um, I'm going to most likely be Skyping with my family. I'm probably going to play Elder Scrolls a little bit and then Skype with my family privately. So I'm probably not going to go on Steam. What's nasty? My chocolate? No. Ah, oh, this is so good. Ah. Nah. Mm. Chocolate. The woman shouldn't swear. Mm. I think um I think we should. I don't know. <coughs> Ah, my throat is so dry. Ah. <laughs> Everyone throws a random fudge in the game. <laughs> fudge. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is quite true. You don't even notice it too when you're playing. You're just like, you realize you're talking to yourself, and then you realize you're actually swearing to yourself, but you're not folk like you're just. Speaking out loud. Let us continue. <laughs> oh, my hair. Nah. Hello, Dragonberry. Thanks, Willie Hamster. See you. See you around town, girl. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Oh my gosh! I want to. I want to get this cat done. Oh, 
Until Dawn. I feel like I know that game and I forget what it is. Let me quickly Google it. Until Dawn. Until Dawn. I have not played this game. It's only for PS4. Ah, uh, that, that explains it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played Until Dawn. If it's only for PS4, then yeah, forget about it. I only have a PC. PC? I got PC. <laughs> Thank you, Le Pulpien. Pul Pulpien? Pulpien. Pulpien. <clears throat> what? Ar Arthur, there is no sexual stuff in the book. That <laughs> what? What did you read? Because you definitely did not read the book that, I, that I'm writing. I do not have sexual stuff on there. I don't feel comfortable writing about that stuff, so, I mean, there's a little bit of intimate stuff, but not sexual stuff. Da, 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 da. Okay, the cat is getting me bored here. I kind of want to move on. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna stop drawing the cat for now because I'm getting a little bit bored with it. Uh, I'm going to progress with the little flowers in here, this area, this area, and right here. So, first things first. Uh, <laughs> flowers, okay. No, no. What's a slash fic? Guys, I think I'm too old to know what that is. A slash fic? Is it like horror? I don't know. Alright, let's start with the... Flowers. This is quite a vibrant color. <laughs> the random noises I make. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry random noises and when I'm concentrating like I said it just comes out I can't control it <sighs> la 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 as-tu des animaux? oui j'ai un lapin j'ai un lapin j'adore les lapins Les lapins sont trop cute. Les bébés lapins. Bunny, what about Tomb Raider? Ooh, are you talking about like the, the movie that's coming out or the video game? I have not played the video game. Um, surprisingly, actually, I thought, it, you know, I thought I would be into it, but I just never did. Um, Movie-wise, I am kind of like i saw the new pictures that were released of alicia vikander or whoever the actress is i saw her photos and she looks really cool um but i'm not sure like i i always had angelina jolie in my mind you know she's a little bit of a different fit but she fits with the tomb raider character in the recent video game i think 2013 like the last one um and yeah i think i mean i'm looking forward i hope i hope she's good in it i think she's a good actress wouldn't be necessarily the face I would see for Tomb Raider, but yeah, there's potential, I would say. Bye, 
Arthur. I'm really excited for Wonder Woman though. Like the movie Wonder Woman the blah, 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 can't speak anymore. The new movie that's coming out with Wonder Wo Wonder Wo Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. I'm excited for that one. I've always been a Wonder Woman fan. And then um the Justice League movie. Justice League, I think. Yeah. There's a couple movies that are coming out that I'm excited to see. Thank you, Cookie. Cookie Tail. Thank you. So we're going to make, be making the flowers here. Like, there's more flowers. We're going to be making them a little bit blue. Like, a light blue. These flowers here are quite bright. I think I'm going to have the same color here on the bottom, but I don't want to really touch this yet because of the I didn't finish the body. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna change the color now to an even lighter pink for this flower here. At least I think it's a lighter pink. It's a bit of a grayer pink. Nah, it's not that much difference actually. A little bit. You have a pencil stroke, beautiful. You're so lucky to have good draw. Thank you. So lucky. It's a lot of work. It's a hard it's hard work. I'm not lucky to have it. It's it's more hard work and determination to be able to draw like this. To get to this point, I should say. Thank you, Art101. How would you go about coloring sand? Ooh! Um, I would probably lay an initial color down. Like, it depends what you're coloring with. If you're coloring with watercolor, you could use, like, a beige color lay the initial color down, add some extra sort of texture with different aspects of like like different like maybe a golden color or like a darker brown add some sprinkles on <laughs> I don't know <laughs> different texture aspects. I, I don't know that's a tricky question. I've never drawn sand before. I'm really not good with scenery. It's a bit hard to describe. You can buy anime on Steam? What? That's really, that's actually really random. I mean, it kind of makes sense actually. It's like turning into a Netflix. Netflix. Thank you, Super Fluff. Hey, Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. Hope I'm saying that properly. Welcome. Do, 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 do.
Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm kind of concentrating here. I'm trying to get this a light shade of pink. Okay. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to. Ah, too late. I wasn't supposed to draw this pink or color this a pink. Ah, it's supposed to be blue. Whatever. Happy mistake. It's all good. <clears throat> okay, so this needs to dry a bit here. Um, so while this dries, we're going to continue on with the little butt. We're gonna draw the little bum, little baby bum. Bunny, did you watch Beauty and the Beast yet? No, I have not. I'm planning on going to the cinema. Oh, it's one of my favorite Disney's. I love it. I love it so much. But it came out here like a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna go see it. I didn't have time previously because of work and whatnot. It was working a lot on the weekends. But yeah. Now that I have free time, I can go watch it. Oh, no, Misty. That's the great part of Beauty and the Beast is the romance. They're not supposed to kiss right off the bat. Uh, that's the magical part of it. Because he's a beast and he's all like, yo, I'm a beast. I can't kiss no, like, human. Not yet. He had so many issues, you know. That's what's nice about it. It's a struggle. Perfect romance. Ah, oh, true. Bob Ross used to say happy mistake. That's where it sounded familiar. I was like, like, I used to watch Bob Ross way back in the day. A happy mistake. I guess that got ingrained. It was a happy mistake. Happy mistake. True that. <laughs> Bob Ross, yo, Bob Ross. What a man. What a legend. What is my favorite Disney Pixar movie? Uh, Beauty and the Beast for sure, and then the old one. I haven't seen the new one yet. And then um, uh, Hercules. Hercules is another one of my favorites. I love the music in it. Hercules. Na 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 na. Hercules. Yeah, that one is fantastic. Um, the newer ones I actually can't remember any of them. <laughs> But those ones were the, the best. Thank you, Le Pulipian. Pulipian. <coughs> Hercules. Lion King, yeah, Lion King is another favorite. Although it's not the top favorite of mine, I do rank like Beauty and the Beast, um, Hercules, and then um, I can't remember the other Disney movies. I don't remember the others that I liked. It's only those two that I watched a lot. You want me to draw more with watercolors? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in the past streams, you've watched me draw without watercolors or paint without watercolors because I was practicing different art forms. Um, my original way of drawing or painting something was always with watercolors. Watercolors and uh, pencil crayon, um, like polychromos, and that was it. Anything else, and a little bit of pastel, a little bit. Uh, and then I started to introduce marker into my work, and that's where I was really practicing and doing live streams more with Copic markers as well as Faber Castell uh, polychromos. But I'm I, I kind of feel back in the, you know, the watercolor mood now. This is a beautiful art form. Da, 
<laughs> I finished your portrait. I tagged you on my story post and sent it to you on your DM. Whoa! Um, you drew a portrait of me? Is that what you're saying? Dang. You may have mentioned it, but are you planning to finish the whole thing in the stream? I was initially. Um, I am kind of feeling a little bit hungry and crampy. I have issues with my back uh, from, from the recent stress from this month. And I can't sit up in the chairs very long and I have to kind of lie down. So I'm already starting to feel very tense right now. So just because of that, I might end it. And finish part two tomorrow I might do like a double stream tomorrow where it's like i finish this drawing and then i start another one maybe um but i'm not i'm not so sure currently what's what's the deal i mean i'm technically almost done i would say there'd probably be another hour or so um before i, I really start to finish it up so maybe i hold off I'm, I'm not so sure yet but as of right now i have a really bad back like an old lady. You guys can laugh at me. I do have like old lady. I'm an old lady. <laughs> I'm an old lady. Okay, I'm gonna um I can paint without the colours of the wind. I forget how the song goes. <laughs> That's a good song though. I do like that song. And I'm one of those people that like to listen back to the uh disney like soundtracks like the old ones from the 90s oh so many memories come on paintbrush my paintbrush isn't cooperating with me i think i need to fill it up give me a second guys watch the other stuff princess movies are the boring ones how dare you nico how dare you i'm not really a princess girl um, but I did love the princess movies. Ah, there we go. Paintbrush is full. <laughs> ah, come on. Okay, oh, gosh, this paintbrush. Sometimes with these water brushes, I have a hard time getting the water out. It gets really annoying. There we go. Perfect, beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic. There we go. I love how smoothly that goes on. Something I do also like to do is to bring together at the very last step. Um, what I tend to do is once I have the sort of like layer of watercolor down, then I have the layer of polychromos on top with the detail, I like to go back with a very, very light touch of watercolor afterwards to kind of blend some of these areas in much better. So it doesn't look so um, out of place. like. What I mean is blend the watercolor together with the pencil crown a little bit more. It creates a beautiful kind of... You can see here it's already starting to happen. It looks a little bit more realistic. You're kind of eliminating the paper beneath it. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Spirit Wolf, welcome. There we go. Wunderbar, wunderbar, sehr gut, sehr gut. Das ist sehr schön. Is das nicht schön? All right, all right, guys, all right. 
So I'm going to finish the tail after. I just got to wait for the watercolor to dry. Then we can already add the flowers here. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> Thank you, Les Pulpien. Pulipien. You're so sweet. Thank you for your nice words. Da, 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 da. Shush, I'm missing Germany. Oops. Oopsie. I should probably update the thumbnail. Okay, thumbnail, thumbnail. Thumbnail time, thumbnail time. Okay, thumbnail number. I think, okay, I think the thumbnail changed. I'm not so sure, not so sure. La, 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 la. I'm gonna take a photo of it. Work in progress. Ah, oh, he looks so cute, I love him. Sweet baby boy. Yeah, I think we named him Yogurt, right, guys? Yeah, we totally named him Yogurt. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue. Du, 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 Oh, this brush is also out of water. Give me one second, guys. What happened to the P.O. box? Good question. I applied for a P.O. box. And they sent me an email letting me know that the P.O. box location was full. Because um, I'm in the city, so it's going to be pretty hard to get a P.O. box. Um, so I have to call them and ask to see if there's an alternative or if there's another location I can go to. Um, and then if not, then they would send the mail to my house directly, which is not a bad service, actually. Um, so if I can't get a P.O. box, then there's going to be another way, um, which I have to solve. But yeah, I already looked into it. Um, unfortunately, there's just no spaces. They're all going to be taken in the city. Is this dry? Yeah, it's dry! His tail is bugging me. I'm not done the tail yet. I have to finish the tail. It's, it's waiting. I'm waiting for it to dry. God, my ears are so itchy. Do you guys have allergies yet? I have crazy allergies. Crazy. C -c -c crazy. Come on, you stupid water brush. It's very light blue. I don't know if that shows up on the camera. Not really. Kind of. Oh, this blue is amazing. I love this blue so much. Okay, I think the tail might be dry. Yes, sir. Okay, we're gonna make the tail super fluffy. Fluffy! Uh, 
Russia, it's still too cold for flowers. Oh no. Yeah, here it's quite warm. Like today was like, oh, how many degrees was it today in Berlin? Um, did I hear 21 degrees? I know tomorrow's, but like the weekend's supposed to be up to 24, 23 or 24 degrees. It's quite warm. It's getting quite warm. And everything is growing and the allergies are just like out of control right now. What brushes are you using? I'm using water brushes. So it's a brush where you can unscrew the top and put water here in like the little capsule. And then um, you just have to press, like squeeze this edges here and draw and the water comes out. So it's a water brush. It's super easy to use. Super fantastic if you don't want to use actual brushes. And if, especially if you're on the go, for example, you can just use a water brush. Now water brushes themselves, like this one, you can see the brand that I'm using below in the description of the, of the video. And, uh, yeah, they have all kinds. You can get cheaper brands as well on Amazon, like just, like, actually I can't remember the name of the brand. Um, these are kind of a little bit fancy looking, uh, but the other ones I have are quite plain. Yay, Fluffy Tails! I love it so much! Yeah, thank you. I also like Fluffy Tails. When you're drawing longer fur, you want to also extend your pencil strokes. So don't be afraid to get a little bit messy here. Um, okay. How do I finish the tip of his tail? <laughs> oh, gosh. Where do you get your art supplies from? I tried looking for watercolors that are good, but I don't really know where to look or what to look out for. Any tips? Um, first of all, go to your local art store. If you can't, well, you can always order online like Amazon, but go to your local art store and um, search for the brands. I'm using what you've seen here is Schmincke. It's German brand, Schmincke as well as Windsor and Newton, which is more expensive. Um, Schmincke is very, very good. Look out for these brands. But as a starter, what I would recommend to do is at your local art store, there might be kind of like um, brands from your art store. For example, here we have an art store and they sell like the very cheapest one is brands that come from the art store itself. So they're not popular. It's not like a popular brand, you know, it's just like the brand from the art store. And this is a good basic to get started with. I got started that way and I learned how to use watercolors. And then I started buying the more expensive stuff because um, I was actually selling art afterwards. So um, if you're like wondering about it, uh, start with like the cheapest ones. You don't have to go too expensive, but don't start with dollar store cheap stuff. I mean like good quality, but at the same time, not that expensive. I've never seen a cat like you drew in a practically a cat whisperer. <gasps> Thank you. Just joined the stream. Hey, Caitlin. Tschüss, Maria. <laughs> Thank you, Manskins. Varg and Manskins. Oh my gosh, I can't pronounce that. Yeah, she's turning out really sweet. I think it's a he. He or she. I, I mean, I don't really care. I know its name is Yogurt. Yogurt the cat. Hi, Alicia. Okay. Whoa, look at 
look at that blending stick. Gonna blend, 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 blend. I th it looks like a he, I think. I think so too. That's what I was calling him he. I think it's a he. I don't know. Does he look like a he? He's playing in pink flowers. Like a little boy. Will you finish this today? I'm really hoping. I'm really, really hoping. I'm undecided yet. I wanted to originally, but I'm getting tired. It's almost 10.30 at night here. And um, I have back cramps, so I kind of want to lie down. But I would like to see it finish. So what I'm seeing, what's missing here is kind of like... I need to add a little bit more brown under his chin. Here, like this. I think I should add black. I think this is the best cat you have done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Things. That really means a lot. I've been working really hard to perfect my technique over the past few weeks or months, I should say, and you don't really see the progression until you actually make something like a, for me, it's only been sketching. I've been progressing by sketching a lot and um, you don't see it until you actually do something like this, like a full on drawing or a painting. Um, so if you, if, like, in terms of advice, I would give you guys advice would be to sketch. Sketch as much as you can. Start off with a sketch. This is where you will learn everything you need to know. Constant sketching. Learning by observation and by trying. That's, that's how I have learned so far. Oh no. Thank you so much. I'm in high school still in the UK. I'm doing my B E T E K or C. Wow, wow, fail art exam at the moment, and we are doing the topic performance. Do you have any advice for it? I don't know what that art exam is. Um, and do you mean what do you mean by performance? Like you have to do a performance, or I don't. Uh, I've never done that sort of exam before, so I can't really give you that much advice. But if you have to perform something. Or kind of like present. I have a few tips on that. <sighs> Definitely have a few tips on that. Aye, 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 aye. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs> I'm good at monochrome art, but I'm loving this art. Monochrome art, I'm not good at. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. And, uh, yeah, that's kudos to you if you can do monochrome art. That's really cool. All right. You know, the bird is bothering me. I feel like he's too big for the cat. I'm actually thinking of erasing him all together. I think he's kind of ruining it, to be honest with you. I'd rather fill it with more flowers, maybe. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not really liking the composition in terms of the bird. Although I had a vision to add a bird in the initial drawing, but I'm not really- I think I drew him way too big, and I don't really feel like drawing him again does ruin the composition too there we go I think he the cat's gonna look much better by himself looking at the butterfly I would say mm -hmm. 
Les plus bien Les plus, plus, bien Merci beaucoup I think you're French, I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming. Mm. Okay. <laughs> flowers! <coughs> exactly, I'm going to add more flowers to the background. Then I'm going to add a bit more touches of blue. So we're going to have... Okay, let's just freehand this. We're going to have... Uh, Blue, gonna blue, blue, blue. You should add a bee. Bees would be nice. I want to add some bees. Whoa, Alicia Hancock's. Thank you. Make the bunny dance. Yes. And we're going to draw, um, okay. Here we're going to draw a kind of a flower. Did you use watercolor pencils? Nope, I do not use watercolor pencils. I'm really bad at using watercolor pencils. Very, very bad. I need to practice how to use them. I see that they have potential, but I, I don't typically use watercolor pencils. I have a whole set of them too. I have a beautiful set of Faber-Castell ones, like the biggest set you can get. Got it for my birthday, I think it was, as a gift. And I barely use them because I just, I have difficulties using them. Quelle heure est-il chez toi? Um, 10h30. 10h30. C'est très tôt? Tôt? C'est très tôt? Et très tôt? That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say it's very late. It is getting late. Very late for me. Yes. Super late. Okay. And we're gonna add another flower here. Du matin, non, du soir. C'est très... Mm. Late. <laughs> oh my gosh, my French. I just can't. I cannot deal with my French. Funny, my sister says that she's better at art than me because she's older. Is this right? Or is it because she has better equipment? <laughs> Um, <laughs> doesn't mean because she's older that she's better at art than you. She might have a couple years of experience on you. Depends. If you practice a lot harder than she does, you will be better than her. Um, having better equipment doesn't really mean anything. You have to learn how to use it. If you know how to use it, then you know what you're doing. That, then that's where the magic will happen. Having better equipment is really not something that you need as a beginner. Flower, pink, flower. Need to cover up the bird a little bit more. His sketch stayed inside of the drawing and looks kind of bad. Wow, 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 wow,
Okie dokes. Mm. All right. So I'm wondering would I should I do a background I don't know background color I'm not really too keen on backgrounds I think backgrounds nah I was thinking of putting a leg green maybe in kind of like the areas around the flowers to kind of simulate petals or not petals um leaves come on watercolor brush work but I'm not so sure if I should Da, 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 da. Just a fast question. If you would make special line art for your drawing, what would you use? I would use marker. Definitely marker. Um, especially like a fine tip marker. Like I use the Faber-Castell artist pit markers and these work really really well for what I want to achieve and there's different types of thicknesses which you can get some really cool effects with um, so definitely get some really nice quality markers and that's what I would do my line work primarily with in this case I'm not doing line work that's just the look that I want to achieve um, but typically I would use marker for sure Oh, cute. Thank you, les pu puliers. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I can't speak anymore. Pulipienne. Pulipienne. Es-tu déjà été en France? Non. <laughs> Mais je j'aimerais aller à France. Au France? Non. J'aimerais ça aller... J'aimerais ça visiter la France. La France? La France. Ce serait le fun. Oui, 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 just join. Hello, pumpkin. Yellow background? Dude, I'm not a yellow fan. I'm really not a fan of yellow. Yellow is quite hard for me. I barely use it. Maybe in some of the flower work I would do, I would add a touch of yellow, but oof, very, very rare I use yellow. <laughs> Where'd the bird go? The bird, uh, he flew off. He just flew off. He missed it. He, he flew off of my page. And, um escaped yeah for real everyone in the stream saw it <laughs> it was crazy quite, quite, quite crazy no I, d I wanted to um he was too big compared to the kitten and in the end he i think he disturbed the composition of the actual piece so i was just like ah, i'm just gonna erase it didn't look that good to me so Purple blue fade background. Hmm. I was thinking of a very light green or a light I think light blue could also work. Or like a turquoise kind of color. She let it free. I let it free. I did. I let it free. He's gone with the wind. I let it free. Gone with the wind. Bunny, you're using your Dollar Ronnie fine grain heavyweight paper again. Oh my gosh, you remembered. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. 
I thought the bird was cute. So did I. I. I also thought that he was cute, but he was actually way too big compared to the proportions of the cat. And I was too lazy to redraw it, so I was just like, eh, like I'm just gonna fill it in with flowers. It's kind of a cheap shot that you do if you just are getting lazy. You fill it in with something that's easier to draw. But uh, yeah, I'm quite tired right now. I'm, I'm really pushing myself to finish this. No, oh, there's a huge bug. Ah. What is it? It's like a grasshopper with wings. It has. It's attracted to my light box. <laughs> Did you teach yourself how to use watercolors? Yes. I have a set I bought and I'm scared to use them because I never have before. Just go for it. Play around, experiment. That's how I learned. It's the best way. Don't worry about it. Let me get a piece of chocolate. No, go away. Ew. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> if it's not a bee, you're safe. I'm not afraid of bees. I I quite like bees. Mm. I've only been stung once, but it didn't really hurt that bad, actually. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Okay, continue. Chocolate time over. Ooh, you, s you found a spider in your room? <laughs> I, have a, I have a nice story about that. I, um, my old bedroom used to have like a fan, like a ceiling fan above me. And in the summertime, I would turn it on because obviously it was warm outside. One day I sat on my bed and I saw a baby spider. It was a little baby spider and it looked really cute. And I'm normally creeped out about spiders, but this one was quite cute. And I decided to save its life instead of killing it. I took it out like on a piece of paper and brought it out to my window and let him free. And then I sat back down on my bed and I found the same baby spider again. And I was like, I was like, dude, I just brought you outside. How the hell are you back on my bed? And then I was like, wait a second, this is a different baby spider because I saw another one went right next to it. And then I started to look all on my bed <laughs> and I saw like 10 of them on my bed. They were on my walls. And what had happened was I turned on my ceiling fan and there was a nest, a spider nest in the ceiling fan. And as soon as I turned it on, it exploded. <laughs> all the baby spiders flew onto the walls and onto my bed. I was freaking out. I was literally freaking out. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, that was that was horrible. I went really crazy that day. I was just like throwing out everything. My bed sheets, ripping it off my bed. Yeah, it was a horror story. Yeah. And at first I was like, oh, baby spider's so cute. Thank you, Ruby. Ruby Pursty. Yeah, it was the worst. That was the worst. That happened to me when I was in high school and I was like having a heart attack. Like, <sighs> but I've never had that kind of encounter again. That was like a one time thing. It's pretty intense. All right, let's proceed, proceed. We're in the house, it's not safe anymore. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I have to add definitions to the flowers. 
Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Oh, my back really hurts, guys. <laughs> Spider stories are so funny. <laughs> Until it happens to you and you're like, oh. Oh no, I think I ruined it. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, okay, wait, let's try to fix this here. See, this is what happens when I get too tired and I don't want to continue, I start to ruin it. Cause I'm just like, ah, let's go. we're gonna get lazy. We're gonna get lazy. He's looking really sweet though. <coughs> funny do you have tumblr um maybe like i have an old tumblr but i don't use tumblr at all i have a spider story i screamed the end ah! oh my gosh okay boys and girls Realistic colored portraits take so long. Yes, they do. They do. They do. They really do. I think honestly guys I think I'm gonna end it here because my back is killing me right now And I'm hungry and it's almost 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow Afternoon, I'm gonna post the schedule I'm gonna finish this piece tomorrow on the stream and I'm going to draw something else. Maybe something small I'm probably gonna draw a human uh, so um, we're just gonna keep it fun and light. I'm gonna stick to watercolors tomorrow as well. I think the whole weekend is gonna be watercolors. So join me in the stream tomorrow. I know! Nine! Nine! I know. Uh, join me in the stream tomorrow. We're gonna finish this cat. There's not much left to do. It's just I'm looking at the details in terms of the flowers and I have to do a little bit more and I'm, I'm really exhausted right now. Join me tomorrow. I will post the schedule shortly and um, I wish you guys a good night. Thank you guys so much for watching the stream. It's been a long time since we did anything together and yeah, I'm going to be back to my old schedule again. When will the stream be? Um, la 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 la. Probably around... I, I have to do... I'm going to the gym tomorrow and have to shop a little bit. I'm going to post the schedule um, maybe tonight or tomorrow morning. Probably around like... 6 30 or 7 maybe later uh so yeah but yeah i'd like to wish you guys all a fantastic night and i will see you guys tomorrow thanks so much for supporting and subscribing and as always keep drawing keep being awesome i will see you guys soon bye